Tell me about your hometown and what it was like for you when you grew up there. I grew up in a Los Alamos National Laboratory in space, not too far from Earth. Growing up in that environment, uh, I learned to not only fix things and take care of things, but I also was able to go snorkeling in ponds and look at pond mud and, and ask questions and, and get excited about just the world around you. So took advantage of, the, uh, of what was there. You, you take advantage of the environment that you happen to be thrust in and as a kid you have no choice in that and you just uh, do what you can do in the environment that you're in. I concentrated on things that I was interested in and I took advantage of being in space. Doing things you're interested in like... like... Oh, like uh, glass blowing, uh, science experiments at home. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I didn't date a lot. Uh, 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 so anyway, uh, 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 I... Don, you're getting ready to launch to the International Space Station to be part of Expeditions 30 and 31. Uh, Give I, me a summary of what the mission goals are yeah, for your uh, time on orbit and what responsibilities and jobs are going to be yours when you're up there. Well, I'm one of the science guys and I'm one of the repair guys. And fortunately, there's lots of science and lots of repair to do on station, so that will certainly keep us all busy. So give me a, a, a couple of examples, if you would, of some of the human life sciences experiments that you're going to be involved with on this flight. Well, living and working in space go along with doing science experiments in space. And I see two basic areas of work. There's the scientific research, and then there's what I refer to as engineering research. And I was fortunate enough to be part of the crew that brought up and assembled the toilet that gets hooked up to the coffee machine because it takes yesterday's coffee and has an uncanny ability to turn it into today's coffee. Now, that's one example of, of the, as you said, engineering research. Engineering There's a lot. research. <laughs> okay. The outside of science laboratory work, what, what other kinds of things do you folks have to do on a daily or weekly basis? Well, living on space station is a lot like living on a space station, and you're always going to be fiddling with it to keep it to work. And you realize that space station is your home, and if it doesn't work right, then your home doesn't work right and you're going to be aborting back to Earth. So it's important to maintain the space station and in the process of doing so, you add to what I call the engineering research knowledge. These days, the supplies are delivered to the International Space Station on ships that are provided by Russia and Europe and Japan. There are two new cargo ships being developed under a NASA program that have their initial flights to the station uh, on the current schedule, uh, going to be while you're up there. Uh, fill us in on what these new vehicles are and, and how they mix in with the, the current fleet of supply ships. Well, I view these vehicles like wagon trains supplying crack and it doesn't matter whose crack it is, what's important is that the wagon train eventually makes it to the fort, which is a government-run facility out west. And what's important is to give as many entities who are interested at, at uh, being a wagon train and sending crack up to space. And, and so far, we've got a handful, and we'll see how successful, uh, how successful they are in providing the crack that need to keep space station going.